welcome to Stationeers. I am in space, as you can see. Um, I thought I'd try a different start. Um, so the latest update, March uh, 24, um, the Shelter in Space update has just landed. So I thought I would make a, a quick video. Um, we'll start with the sort of the first hour or so of playthrough anyway. Um, to see how the new mechanics affect the start of the game and uh, what you need to do. There's been quite a lot of chat on the forums about how it will make it very difficult at the beginning of the game. Um, so I guess let's find out. Um, but you also will see, yes, I am in space. Um, this is a bit, in my opinion, of an underrated uh, start. Um, asteroids only ever used to be available as a creative and so it was quite underused. But um, I'm playing this on uh, normal difficulty um, and I'm going to see if I can build myself a, a little asteroid base. Um, now, there are a few things that in theory should be easy. I've got lots of space and you can see the asteroids have got a fair amount of ore on them, but there's also not that many of them. Um, so that's going to be an interesting challenge. And the lack of gravity means that if I do stuff like bash into the lander, you'll see it starts to move. So that actually is kind of challenging, but I actually think that may also be a good reason to have a uh, pressurised indoor environment, because the way Stationeer's engine works is that once you're inside what it recognises as a room, um, it's going to actually give you some gravity. And I think using some of the machinery without any gravity is going to be very, very challenging. Um, so I'm just very quickly trying to grab some of the bits I might need to start a base. Um, actually, I might grab that solar panel. That would be a really useful thing to have, wouldn't it? Um, let's pop that in there. You can see the lander. I gave it a nudge. I did deliberately nudge it actually in the direction of the asteroid. It should make the, uh, the commutes to pick stuff up slightly easier. Um, but uh, there we go. Um, I haven't tried, I did think about starting this on station air difficulty, but uh, I then figure I'd start somewhere over there in space where I first spawned in um, with no jetpack. And I thought, mm, I'm not actually sure that's going to ever be survivable. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, right, for now, um, let's go. There is an argument um, on this, uh, on space like this actually for uh, adjusting and turning off the stabiliser on the jetpack because you use a lot less fuel um, which I'll probably do when I'm doing longer journeys because you just start moving and keep going uh, but for now um, it's just going to grab a few more bits because uh, I'd actually quite like to be able to get the thing started um, let's have a solid generator we generate a bit of power everyone likes a bit of power um, right that's probably about all um, though to be fair um, I could swap that and that because, let's be honest, I'm not going to be using the food or drink until I've built somewhere to eat and drink. Right, so I think I'm going to go straight in through the side of this asteroid here. This looks like a good spot if I can just line it up with the, where the frames want to settle. Um, I really want a sort of flattish surface. See that the, uh, the land is coming to join me. Um, Okay, so maybe if I put a square in sort of here, this would be where I'm going to put my airlock. Um, that seems like a reasonable start point. Um, so let's just, there is one bug that sometimes happens on asteroids where the terrain is not distractible, but we do not appear to have that one. If you do have that, you basically just need to restart station is. I don't know why it happens. It's quite rare, um, and I've only ever seen it happen on the asteroids world. But there we go. It's... Uh, something to watch out for. Anyway, right, let's... Now, of course, there's actually quite a bit of iron in there, and whilst there is a lot of uh, ore around to be had, <laughs> once I've exhausted these asteroids in the immediate vicinity, it's going to be a bit of a flight to find some more, so I'm quite keen not to uh, box too much of it inside a ball that I then can't access. You'll see it just floats there, which is kind of, you know, fun. Um, there we go, that's a 49 stack. Um, right, there we go. Right, and here we go, the land is coming in 
to kind of dock or something. Right, good. Um, let's get inside. Let's. Dig a nice cavern out here. I'm not sure I've sealed it well enough at the front yet to be actually airtight as a base, but I might have done actually. It looks looks like a decent enough seal. Okay, well let's try it. That will be the test. Um, so where did I put the door? There it is. Oh, that's the generator. There's the door. So let's. Um, I'm going to go for an unpowered hatch for now. Yep, there we go. And in here, I've now got gravity. It's not very realistic, but um, I can understand why they've done it like that. Okay, well that means now is I've got a space where I can actually put things down, so that's good. Um, that's actually a pretty good start. Um, I think we'll lay a bit of flooring in here. I don't know whether it's even worth attempting to capture any atmosphere yet. Probably not. Um, the only thing I'm going to capture anyway is going to be uh, toxic. Uh, right, let's... Uh, find it there is okay there we go right just mine out the floor so you need to be careful I don't breach the walls well I don't need to be that careful it's not pressurized yet but it's a good habit to get into <laughs> like that. Um, okay. Now, in the interest of saving uh, resources, I think that actually I might use a uh, wall. Now, let's no, let's go crazy. Let's build a solid front on this. It's probably the most important bit after all. And get some ceiling installed. Uh, actually, which means I don't need one there, doesn't it? Okay, I'll remove them from the outside in a minute. What I am going to do is to mine this stuff out first in case there's any wall inside it. Okay, I uh, don't know why the jetpack just turned itself on. I did not press the button. Ah, uh, because it now says I'm, I've, I've broken the wall, so now it thinks I'm outside. Well, I am outside to be fair, um, which means I'm in zero gravity again. So it automatically toggles on the jetpack. Right, it doesn't look like there's actually much ore in that roof there. It was a uh, check worth doing. Then we'll reseal that. Close that in then. So I'm floating. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Now we're sealed back in again. Okay, good. Right. And 
get some floor laid simply because I need something to put machinery out onto. I might single weld those and rely on the. Um, what am I doing with the mining drill? I've gone mad. Um, single weld them and rely on the uh, asteroid for now. This is really just to give me some flat surface that I can build on. at the moment but it'll be better as we build more uh... okay look at that my nice little space cave right um now the point of doing that is that now i can actually do things like figure out where am i going to put down some machinery um i have no idea how i'm going to lay this thing out um but at least i can start thinking about it get some of this stuff out of my inventory um i mean i don't really want the furnaces and the uh solid generator creating a whole load of pollution in my uh my base but I think I'm going to need to do that for now at least so I think I'm going to um, think about this I think I'm going to put them where I can seal them into their own room later um, I think that's probably the smartest solution I've done that in the wrong order. If I put the uh, generator in that slot, it will be easier to run cabling in from any solar panels outside. Just trying to get this turned the right way around. Um, because what I really want to do is obviously connect the um, generator side the power network but I want it to connect to stuff outside as well if I can get in there can I get in there maybe maybe not yep okay go on get in there right okay good right um, and then I'll bring a cable out that way I think which will then connect up Oops, this method to my madness, I think. It might just be madness. Who knows? Um, yeah, and then if I put the APC in that gap there, and then this becomes the demand side. Uh, I'm going to want to split that, so I'll bring that across here. Just thinking ahead to when I build some walls. That's a good start, isn't it? Already oh, waste tanks already a problem. Um, I think that's the power side, but it's right in the middle, so that'll be fine either way. Okay, let's actually see if I can get the auto lathe put together because I've got all this stuff for it. Uh, yeah, it would help if I put the sheets in my hand, wouldn't it? Don't want to. Um, Run out of either cable or iron sheets before I finished it. Right, there we go. Let's, let's get that done. Okay, that's the minimum I need to be able to build stuff. I'll put the APC in there and use that to charge those. Okay, we're good. Right. And I've got a little bit of gravity in here, so I can actually drop things now. Um, Let's do that for now. I've actually got a bit of pressure, but it's ever so hot in here. I'm going to actually let that out. Jetpack on. Right, 
let's have a look at the outside because yeah, as I thought I was going to be looking a bit mad once I got out here. Don't need that frame or that frame anymore. Probably will need that frame at some point, so I'm going to leave that one. What I am going to do is try to figure out where's a good place to put a. Where's the sun these days? Where is it? It's behind the asteroid, isn't it? So it's probably going to. There it is, right, okay. So, uh, I'm guessing it's going to go up and over. I wonder whether if I do that. Can't put it onto a single one like that, no, okay. Jetpack on. Um, hmm. Should I look out the best way to do this, actually? I'm just thinking if I slice the top of that, it's not awfully high, is it? Yeah, I'm going to do that. That gives me space for two panels, and I'm going to slice the top off the asteroid. I've only got the material for one right now, but let's at least get that built. I don't know if I've got enough cable to find its way all the way down, but again, it's, uh, it's a question of getting started with this. Okay, so so far, whilst my waste tank is uh, becoming a problem, I'm not seeing any debuffs from the new mechanics, which is a uh, Decent start. Whoops. Um, now I brought that in through the bottom corner, didn't I? Which was possibly stupid, but I'll probably thank myself later. But, uh, I thought that should I should see a connection point there, unless it's on the next one. Is that? Ah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Yes, okay. Of course it is because it's not lined up with the door. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, definitely not going to have enough cable, am I? Although I'm not far off, I reckon I'm going to be one short. That's always how it turns out. No, oh, come on. Oh, no. No, I've actually just about got enough. That is a miracle. There we go. Right. Beautiful. Now, this is where it's helpful that I nudge the lander over here because I can just start to grab stuff out of here. Um, I need an APC. Where's that? That's in this one. Um, and I'm going to want... Do you know what? I might actually get the bits I need for a proper... Um, It just gets them out of the way as much as anything. Whoops, wrong one. Slightly missed. Um, okay, so let's um, What's that lot. Power low. Yep, not a huge surprise, honestly. I do now have some charging capacity, so that's good. Uh, think about how we're going to connect this, but probably that way will be fine for now. And then this one's going to go in here. And this is actually the most important because I need to get that battery switched over in my suit. Oh, no, I'm only on power low, but. too used to playing on very cold planets recently. There we go, right, that's at least connected. Um, I don't know whether it's going to charge or not, it's a 49%, we'll, we'll see, but it might do. Um, right, I don't have the cable to actually connect any of this, but at least it's a way of getting some other things into position. Um, probably the vent is actually better on that wall, isn't it? 
Uh, no, it's a bit on that wall. What am I talking about? I'm going to push it inwards. Go. I'm just going to go over there for now. Um, drop those. I'm going to hang on to the frames and the sheets because I want the ability to patch up if I break anything outside. Okay, let's get some lockers set up because that's always useful. I thought that was backwards for a minute. Um, Maybe it was backwards. Yes, it was. Okay. Good. A great big piece of rock sticking through it, but, you know. Let's start. Right. Okay. Um. frame. Let's check there's no interesting stuff in it. No, there's not. Okay. Do that because having a hole in your floor is really annoying. Right. So I'm going to try and actually close those in so that I can capture the gases slightly separately. Because I think I'll be grateful for that later. Then I'd better get working on actually pressurising this thing. Right, what I don't have yet is a, uh, is a door. I was going to put a wall across there. I don't know. I don't know. It seems to want to let me. That's okay. I'm just going to put a door on each of those. Um, okay, and actually that'll be fine. That's what it needs at this stage. Um, So I need to make a couple of doors, but the idea is I put a door on each of those. I need to double weld that frame actually went to that it's not airtight. Um, I obviously need to extract the gases from those, so I will need, once I've got a uh, pipe bender, I'll need to um, build a couple of active vents and somewhere to dump the gas, but at least it means I won't fill this immediately. Right, okay, I think the urgent thing I need to do now is to go and find some um, copper for the cables. Um, there we go, first bit of smelting, that looks good. Right, um, yeah, if I could get some cables sorted before that waste tank's too full, that would be ideal. So, is there some copper to be had? Okay, that's useful to remember that's there. In fact, I'm going to grab some of that whilst we're passing. Might even grab a bit of the gold, actually. Just leave a little bit sticking out so I can find it again later. Um, right, come on. Hopefully there's some copper somewhere on this asteroid. Maybe there's not. I might have to go to another one to find some. Is this part of the same one or is this a weird? Yes it is. Oh, and look, there's some copper. Nice. 
No, that's not copper, that's lead. We saw the green, I thought, yes, but no. Okay. Oh, it's loading in more terrain as we go. It's getting ever bigger, this asteroid. So you can tell by quite how cubic that is as to whether it just hasn't loaded yet. Yeah, okay. Um, it's good though, that's a nice chunker of an asteroid. Um, just gotta find... Lots of ices as well, which is going to be useful later. Come on, give me some damn copper. There's a kind of chunky bit going up here as well. Oh, well, this is the main thing, isn't it? This is where my base is. Right, okay. I understand now. Right, what I am going to do is slice the top of this, which I said I was going to do anyway. Who knows, maybe I'll find some copper under it. Probably not. You know. Worth hoping. In the meantime, that'll just make the uh, solars a bit more efficient because they'll get the sun a little bit earlier. Well, solar, singular at the moment, but we will have more at some point. No, right, there's definitely nothing interesting under there, though, is there? So, I've just got to finish this now. It's going to annoy me if I don't. I'm going to have to just sort of randomly drill into it and hope for the best, really, which I didn't hugely want to do, because I don't want to totally riddle this thing with holes before I've really started building. Um, just feels like a recipe for a disaster later, but... Do you need to find some copper? Hydration critical. Okay, that's the first uh, of my imminent problems beginning. Well, other than my waste tank, which is also quite a problem, to be honest. Um, come on, I need copper. It's got to be some, somewhere, surely. Surely, on something this big. Apparently not. Okay, well, I guess I'll just drill somewhere down here or something and see what I can find. It's a bit silicon. I mean, I don't need that, but at least I found something. Um, yeah, plenty of iron, which is all good, um, but not really what I need. Yet. Uh, da, 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 da. Trying to keep this tunnel reasonably tidy, because I don't really know where I'm going to be building later. I've deliberately come to the bottom end, but I don't want to be uh, in a situation where there's tunnels absolutely everywhere. That hat copper, and uh, then I'm unable to actually construct anything sensible inside the asteroid because I keep bursting through the sides. I mean, obviously, eventually it'll be cleanly built with uh, with frames and walls and stuff. But in the short term, I'm going to rely on the asteroid being airtight to uh, minimise the amount of building material I need. Is there any more in here? Yes, a little bit. Oh, quite a lot. Okay, this should keep me going anyway, so that's a good start. Oops, I just put that away without turning it off. It just hangs there in space. Okay, there we go. That is quite a lot. Great. Right, okay, let's get that smelted. So to do that, I can get some cabling. I can connect up the airlock. Um, and I can also start building the other machines. It's not the 
easiest to access in there, is it? But can't just do it. Okay. Get those in there. Alright, okay, that'll allow me to make more cable. Which is the first thing to do, because I do need to start making this place airtight and pressurised. weirdly quiet because it's in a vacuum. Right. to just be tidy about this, run it along this edge here. to rip these two doors out and replace them with uh, ankle grinder um, replace them with electrically powered ones jetpack on because now things are outside but that's okay that's going to be a problem. Jetpack on. That doesn't like that there, so I'm going to have to actually open this wall up and run it through, aren't I? Or run it further down. Running it further down might be the neatest solution. case the way I've done that is um, is wrong because that's connected that to there. That's how that should be connected. Yeah, I'm getting thirsty. I'm starting to lose health. I get it. Right, okay, there we go. So then I'll bring this one. Actually, I should have brought it like that, shouldn't I? Across there. Okay, 
that should do the job. And back one. There we go. Beautiful fit. those for now. So let's get these doors finished. on the generator side so that's fine we just need to actually generate some power now so let's um critical okay that's fine it just needs a battery in there so in the short term let's quickly dump that in there turn that on right now um the exterior. You can tell because you see it goes like that. The first one you click is always the exterior, the second one's the interior. So usually I get it the wrong way around. I could rename them first but to be honest it's not really worth the amount of hassle since that's all it takes to sort that. There we go. And the only thing that's remaining is we don't really have a vent on there that might blow the pipe in which case it's not actually the end of the world because it's just going to pressurise in here. Um, okay. Let's give it a go. What I should have done was to dump the contents before I cycled the airlock. Dump the contents of my waste tank. Because that, I was going to say, is about to cause me a problem. There we go. Right, it's a bit warm in here to say the least, but at least now I should sort my oxygen out. Ah, it's the start of my mood is oh my mood's increasing because I've got good hygiene and I'm in a room okay well that's good good to see um right I do need to drink um just trying to judge the state of this oxygen cylinder okay that's fine right okay let's go for it right so we've got very low air pressure but not zero so it's a start Why that still hasn't fully depressurized, I would have expected it to at that point. Should be sucking air into that pipe. It is just very, very slowly. Health low. I know it's because my jetpack's on. No, it's not. Uh, it, I think it actually was. Right, okay. Jetpack on. Right, so the first thing I want is I do need to start thinking about food and drink, so let's grab some of those. Um, Low. Yeah, I know everything's going wrong all at once, as it always does. Uh, one of those into the angle grinder, which I just took it out of so that everything's charged. Right, okay. Uh, what else do I need to bring in right now? Probably just let's start with the oxygen cylinder. I thought I was going to drift away for a second there. Cancel pressurise. Okay, there we go. Right. We have secured oxygen supplies. Just about in the nick of time because that oxygen on my suit is starting to look a little low. Okay, right. Now. Let's, uh, let's get some stuff smelted because actually what I really want to do is going to raise the temperature horrendously in here probably but what I really want to do at this point is to be in a state where um, I can get a pipe bender built. Right, 
Actually, we could do, which is short of the gold which I've got here, so that's perfect. Let's get that going. That will stack into there. That's another 26 of iron in there. <coughs> the reason I want to do that is um, I want to be in a state where actually I could uh, get an ice crusher up and running, which would be a, obviously a very efficient way to. Um, That's going to be a pain, isn't it? Can I reach the battery? Yeah, I can from this side. Yeah, this is not in the best place. That needs recycling, actually. Um, so just this. If I move this across a bit and then pull that in here, that's probably the neatest solution because there's not space to move that across. Um, right, let me see what I need to make a door. Yeah, okay, let's get two doors made. So my mood is bad, but it's increasing. Um, so that's good. Um, but I am thirsty, and um, that's clearly not quite right. Um, it's lacking a... Uh, My health is dropping, that's the issue. Oh, no, no, turn off, turn off, don't want any more doors. Two doors is fine. Um, I'm just going to put a manual hatch on there for now. Each of those. Um, and in fact, I've got what I need for that. It's not great, but it will just at least stop the... Uh, contents of that spilling out, although obviously I'm going to have to open every time I want to come in, but later I'll put a, uh, since I've built pipe bender, which is coming right up, I draw the pipe bender, go, right, so if I can build that, then I'm going to put some active vents and suck the... Oh, that's not actually airtight there anyway, is it? Um, suck the air out of those two compartments. Um, yeah, there's probably a couple of places where it's not looking at this, but um, suck the air out of those, or the gas out of those compartments um, and feed it into some actual active um, gas processing. However, for now, things are getting a little bit drastic in here. It's ever so hot. Um, and uh, I'm also in need of being able to eat and drink, so I'm going to go find some ice. I don't think I mind any ice, did I? Let's just double check before I go out and do it and find I already have some in my belt. No, I don't. Right, okay, you're fine. So let's um, cancel the depressurize. It's close yeah, enough. On. Right, now I want. don't really want um, purely oxygen. I'm going to take a bit of nitrous. Uh, uh, nitrous, but I do need to be careful because, as I just nearly said, nitrous, and it has got nitrous in it, um, which uh, will make me fall unconscious. So I don't want lots of that. I mostly want oxide, but um, a very hot, pure oxygen atmosphere always makes me nervous. should be plenty of oxide. It's not exactly clean. It'll probably smell terrible. How has the lander ended up so far away from the door? Uh, probably the gas coming off. Right, I need to give that a nudge back. Otherwise I shall regret it later. I think I've got hooked on the leg then. Come on, come on, go that way. Yeah, slightly nervous about that. Let's see if I can grab anything else that's super critical off here. I mean, the obvious stuff is um, the ability to actually grow some of the food at some point. I'd rather have a full selection, but I'd rather have something than nothing. 
I think I need to get this stuff on board fairly soon. Uh, what else do we need? Let's grab that water canister and the portable hydroponics. Okay, it's not great, but I don't really want the land to drift away. Um, but at least if it does, I've got some stuff. Right, okay. Cancel pressurise because it's never going to happen. Let's get in here. Let's put those down there. There's my pipe bender, that's useful. However, what's more useful is the ability to breathe. So, see how it's starting to pressurise up. It's pretty cold, but pretty fine. I suspect if I open that, that will be somewhat warmer. Uh, maybe not. I was going to say somewhat warmer. Go in. There we go. That generates a little bit of yeah, it's pollutants as well. A little bit of CO2. Okay, that's fine. Right, we can we can live with this. It's not exactly a healthy atmosphere, but um, it's moving towards survivable at least. So um, I can then do some work to clean it up. Yeah, it's far too much oxygen, too little nitrogen, and I really don't want pollutants in here. Health critical. But it should be at 50 kPa of almost pure oxygen, perfectly safe to open my helmet. Let's find out. I'm not dying. Success. Okay, that's good. So let's get those in there and find out where I put my there we go. And let's have a bit of food and put that in there. There we go. Fantastic. And in fact, you can see with the changes, I'm actually 124% hydration because I've eaten canned food, so I can actually go above 100%, which is really helpful. Um, because hydration is usually the first thing that becomes irritating. So there we go. Um, my health is improving. Um, my um, mood is increasing. I'm in a room. I've got good hygiene still. Um, and uh, all good. So I think so far um, that has not hugely impacted the... Um, early part of the game. Um, Temperature low. Yeah, it's cold. I get it. Um, now what I need to do is to figure out where am I going to. Of course, I've now, now pressurised this. I'd, I'd like it to stay that way in an ideal world, but um, that was probably a stupid place to put that. Well, there's no probably about it. That was a stupid place to put that. Um, And it's going to have to be dismantled, sorry. Well, look at that mess. Boom. That makes more sense in this side. Look at that clipping through. Right, okay. And we need to mine that out. Mustn't remember, I've got. Mustn't forget, rather, <laughs> that I've got my helmet open. Um, to seal but do for now okay good right so let's get stuff put away again did that wrong no come on don't do that for a minute. Clunk. Right, now I can set this machine up over here, which just makes more sense. Um, yeah, there. 
good. Obviously, I'm going to also want an electronics printer, which is why I've left myself a little bit of cable on the end there. Um, right, whilst we're not smelting, how's that battery looking? It's 42%. Suit batteries are 16, so I think we might swap those over. Um, no, 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 I'm just going to further deplete it because uh, it'll actually be useful. Right, uh, it's not in the best place, but we'll make it work. It's only a temporary. Toxin detected. Yeah, I know. Detected. So we get for welding indoors, I guess. Oh, he really isn't very happy, is he? I didn't think there'd be that much toxin. Okay, shot my helmet then. It's only at 2%, it's not that much. Quit winching. Okay, I'm gonna have to filter that out, but at least I've generated the toxin whilst generating the equipment required to remove the toxin, so all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the atmospherics unit set up as fast as possible. Obviously I need There we go, this is that copper's smelted. Well, run everything at this point because I just need. I could use the, the portable filter, but. I don't mind the CO2 so much because we'll need that for plants as long as it's not, you know, overwhelmingly critical. I've got a bit of time because I've just eaten and drunk. Disgusting now. Yes, it is. It's okay. All that pollutant's going to be useful anyway later for heating and cooling. Um, uh, I think actually. lot of room in here honestly but um, let's figure out I can put it somewhere. Hang on one thing at a time. Where's the wall? It's in there somewhere, there it is. Uh yeah let's make it a window, might as well. I can see what's going on then. going on there, but never mind. Right, um, let me get that in there. Let's get that going. And actually, if I am smart about it, I can throw that there and it'll just load up ready. Right, okay, let's concentrate on uh, where can I fit this where it's not going to be completely in the way. 
have to actually just dig out more space, which means more frames. That's okay. Gonna be welding anyway, I might as well go for it, right? whole thing bigger later but um, it's a question of trying to work out at this stage how big I need to make it and then I can start sealing this bit in so that if I accidentally puncture the edge of the asteroid I don't uh, decompress the whole place is it? But let's get going. those up. Okay, that's given me a lot more room to move anyway, so in the meantime I'm going to stick an atmospheric filtration unit in over here. I guess it's as good a place as any for now. Oh, that's at the end of that iron. Yes. Okay. It's fine. I'm not sure which machine I'm going to want them in yet, so let's do that. Let's just drop that there because it keeps getting in my way. Right, I've also got space to put an electronics printer in along there now, which is good. Right, so I'm going to need at least passive vent. I'm actually also going to want a couple of active vents because I am going to hoover around the... Right, that's got other things it needs. But Right, this is the easy one. We're going to put that there. Actually, I need a second passive vent anyway, don't I? Because um, I'm literally going to dump out that. I could dump it straight out, couldn't I? I don't need a pipe. Amazing. Right, um, passive vent, one more, um, and then I will need a um, utility pipe, so I'm going to make a little tank, there we go. And grab that from there, put that in there, give me some iron sheets. I can 
guess I'll smell that. I'm quite a long way away from having an environment where I feel comfortable to use a furnace, but um, other than that, this is going okay. Right, let's see how that goes for uh, sealing up. That might be enough, might not be. Was that one of them? It was, was that? Okay, good. I need uh, pipes, which aren't in here. Gonna need those for machines anyway, so that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, it's just the pipes I don't need at all. Right, okay, fine. Um, actually, uh, no, I'll do that in a minute. And a screwdriver and cable coil first. Okay, okay. Right, I need a um, pollutant filter. Not a uh, long-term solution, but um, it is a solution. Okay, I need a little bit more uh, cable. tank into here. So what have we got going on in here now? Okay, so a fair bit of pollutant, which I'm about to deal with. Jetpack low. Okay, I should have thought about that before I vented my... Um, Jetpack on. Yeah, that wasn't too clever, actually. I could have used my waste gas. Never mind. Right. That should start to go in there. I actually want a pipe meter so that I can easily just see if I'm about to blow that pipe, that tank up. I'll put some automation on it later. We'll get a few more of these because I'm going to need them. That'll do. Actually, I wonder if I can make an electronics printer yet. Uh, electronics printer, yes I can. Let's get that done. There we go. So that should be going into there nicely. I've connected that the wrong way around, haven't I? I'm an absolute idiot. I thought as I did it, I was doing it wrong, and then I was like, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, I'm imagining it. Okay, actually, well, it's better the other way around, it was just, uh, I was quite convinced that... Uh, Did I put the pipe meter? I'll just kick it across the room. Is it gone? Huh. It's not there. No, it's not there. No. Oh, it's over there. Couldn't see it against the grey. Right, okay. Right, okay, we'll try that one again. How's it looking now? That's better. That's now pollutant. Okay, 
that should start to come down. Probably take a little while, but it is coming down, so that's good. Okay, right. It's not going to solve the fact it's 80 degrees in here, but uh, we can fix that later. That's fine. Um, electronics printer. Let's get that in here. Myself a little bit of space between each one. I'm going to need one more cable. Right, a little bit more welding. It's like the last possible option. Right, there we go. Right, that's all of the machines. Um, I want another passive vent for that airlock. That's better than bursting the pipe. Well, at least all the base machines. I mean, obviously there's plenty of other machines to be had, but there we go. Oh, run out of power. Yeah, that's not going to be good for very long, is it? Uh, let's, um, whoops. Let's throw that in there. Okay, in the short term, I'm just going to, um, do that and let it do its thing. Now I could melt that on nitrice. Um, give us a bit of nitrogen. It will also create a bit of nitrous oxide in here which we don't really want but on the other hand I can filter it out. to um, separate it from that pollutant though, that's the only thing. Um, in the short term I can just chuck it all in there and that's just like dirty gas tank, but um, longer term it does need sorting out. Solution. Maybe pipe that round somewhere outside where I can make it get really cold. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult in space because uh, actually radiating out the heat needs a bit more thinking, but um, can be done. What I need to know is, before I suffocate is what's actually in that. So that's 90% oxygen. Um, on the other hand, we can always deal with that later, that's fine. I'm not too worried we can get oxygen from oxide. Right. Um, So I think that's a lot of the basics, actually. Kind of, kind of working. Let's chuck that in there. Let's well feed it with something. Um, yeah, I want some active vents across there, um, just to actively filter the contents of those rooms. Um, a nice little space here. Right, so I can actually run a piece of pipe work along here. If I line it up with this. Um, 
actually. Why don't I run it along the floor? Because then it'll be a lot easier later, won't it? or passive. Active would be most effective. I've got enough materials. Okay, well let's um let's get the piping linked up at least. in the coal. Split half. Half in there. Half in there. Right, now. Move. Come on, that onto the ceiling. And go to there, so that's reconnected as it was. events Anyway, right, I think this is probably about as much as we've realistically got time for. Um, I think you can see from uh, where we've got to here that uh, getting into a reasonable state now. Um, this is uh, it's hot, but it's breathable. Um, I do need to cool it down, but again, I can just quickly cool it with more ice initially. Um, so I've got an enclosed space that I can actually managed to do enough uh, in in a pressurized environment to uh, to avoid uh, constant debuffs so um, I think for the first hour or so at least I, I don't think the new systems will cause a problem um, and I'll do another episode on uh, how things like the shower and the water fountains and stuff like that work um, to get to that point but uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on another episode don't forget, if you're enjoying these, um, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, if you don't like it, tell your enemies. Um, and uh, I hope to see you on another video. Bye for now.